day. The day before the big quake, something happened. I don't know what, something small but important, a telltale puff of radon gas, a distinct rumble from the San Andreas. What, in other words, if nature had told us that it was going to happen? Maybe she does that, but we haven't learned to listen. We're trying, though, at a place where a big quake is overdue. Evening descends on Parkfield, California. And as night falls... What have you heard? Rumors fly. <laughs> oh, that's great. I gotta learn who your source is out here. Someone heard the big quake was imminent. You think so, huh? Fact is, it's been imminent since 1985. Uh, I've decided to quit worrying about what happened just before the earthquake. Just keep taking data, wait for the earthquake, and then look back and see what it did. After all, quakes here happen like clockwork. Since 1857, quakes have struck Parkfield about every 22 years. The last one hit in 1966, so the seismic alarm was set for 1988. But the Earth didn't wake up. <laughs> I live here. There won't be any disappointment if it never gets shook up real good. But if it does, Dwayne will be one of the first ones to know. What distance you want? He's using a laser to track movement on the San Andreas. Uh, I don't know where it is without getting my head in front of you, so okay. just a second. He's aiming the laser out the window into the night at a mirror three miles away. There you go. Right here, you can see the reflected light. And by measuring the length of this beam, he's recorded three inches of fault slip in six years. Wow, three inches. It's creeping along a little bit. You know, thickness of a dime at a time. Whew, it's a bunch. That creeping has bent bridges in Parkfield and sheared Middle Mountain, likely epicenter of the next quake. Middle Mountain is north of Parkfield. Farther south is Shalam. The San Andreas cuts right through, and here's the puzzle. There's three-quarter inches of slip at Middle Mountain, but at Shalam, the fault is locked tight. Experts think it can snap open at any time. Evelyn Roloffs is ready for the quake when it happens. We have creep meters, strain meters, tilt meters, water wells, resistivity sensors, high frequency electromagnetic wave sensors. Let's see. Is there anything I missed? Well, yeah, there's these video cameras. They're set up right on top of the San Andreas Fault, which you can see marked out by those signposts behind me. Now, these video cameras will actually be rolling during a big quake so that for the first time, scientists will actually be able to see the ground rupture during a big quake. The problem is, the scientists don't know exactly what they're going to see just before the big quake. We're trying to look for precursors. In other words, what are the visual signs that we can pick up and, and hear, see, feel before an earthquake? And if experts detect a distinct warning signal before the Parkfield quake, they could listen for the same signal on the most lived-upon fault in the world in Hayward. That's what our hopes are. That's what our goals are. Remember, again, we're making history here. This is a pioneering effort. And sometimes pioneering efforts get lucky and hit it first shot, and sometimes you just have to keep working. Whistling in the dark. Hardly. There are more than 70 experiments waiting to trap that quake at Parkfield, and scientists think they'll do it before 1993, which is when, uh, which is when their own window closes. A year ago, after the Loma Prieta quake, you told us they can't predict earthquakes, but Parkfield is a hopeful experiment. Have any of the aftershocks given them any greater confidence that now they can predict a major quake? I think so, because uh, you know, what scientists are looking for are not aftershocks. They're worried about the main shock, so they're worried about what happens before. And, you know, frankly, they've got the cast, they've got the crew, they've got the camera, the lights, now they need the action. They don't have that until the earthquake hits. <laughs> and when it happens, then they know. Yeah, I mean, they'll have a lot more information. Okay, thanks, Brian. All right.